Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, um, we're picking up a new car. It's not for myself, it's not for my brother, it's actually for my cousin. Um, you guys know from the couple videos ago. Yeah, so pretty much, he ended up leaving the car scene. I didn't think he'll actually do it, but he did it. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and check out his new car when we get there. But uh, let's go ahead and go do the documents first and everything. All right, guys, so, go ahead and get this thing to focus. Um, new day. New car, that's how it's gonna be. So, um, I should go ahead and lock the door real quick. We're gonna go ahead to Copart, Sacramento. Luckily, my uh, cousins ended up winning the car locally, so we're about to go down there. It's about a $60 tow, it's not a big deal, but we have to go wait and pick up the car ourselves. So, let's just admire the beauty of this for a second. Yep, yep, took it in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wait for my cousin to get back. Once he gets back, uh, we're gonna be heading down to Copart, Sacramento, and then uh, hopefully seeing his new car. Um, let's just say it's not a BMW and it's not a performance car, so don't get hyped for that. But it is a new car for him and it's a step up for him, so he's excited about it. Um, we're actually going to be attending a university together next year, so you know this car is going to benefit the both of us. Yeah, it's not really much more to say. It's not really a build on the channel, but it's something I want to show you guys because uh, I love picking up cars from Copart. It's like a, it's like when you when you uh, when you buy something online, you don't really know what it is, and then you come in real life and you're like. Okay, well, this is a couple grand, man. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's good. So it's kind of like a little bit of a gamble, but at the same time, you know, you're most likely getting a good deal. His new car. So he's at school right now. Me and his brother are gonna go pick it up for him, and uh, and we'll show you guys what the car is exactly. Looks like I'm probably taking the Mustang. Yep, he's gonna kill somebody. <laughs> Mustang killer. Don't record me, man. <laughs> Looks really good. <laughs> Professional. Holy shit. Holy shit. No! Dude, this is not good. We have to. Oh my god. We have to, we have to mount it, right? So, do you see the, the. This is the chassis or the frame? Oh man, guys, this is another example of why you should look at a car before you buy it because Copart doesn't want to show you the damages when you bid. So we thought this is gonna be a very easy car, you know, replace an airbag. And what else did we what else did we think? That's it, right? That's it. That's the we, grill on that. We literally thought just the front grill, the airbag, and fix up the pillar or whatever. It's not a big deal. But then you guys saw the front end, uh, so we're gonna have to tell you if we have to break it down to him. That he's gonna need a new engine, new transmit. Not kidding. <laughs> but he's gonna have to at least put five hundred dollars into getting it what, to what we even thought it was. So that's unfortunate. But it is a run and drive, which is great news. Which means the engine and training are good. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna get home. We're gonna figure all that out. But um, it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise for him. Not a good one. But just to stay positive, guys, it's all okay. Everything's good. We're at home. Oh, another Mustang. You see it? Yeah. Oh, your little brother. That's how my cousin. That's your cousin. I'm sorry. I'm the big brother. <laughs> Chill, bro. But yeah, I mean, I mean, yo, he got a new car. It's a brand new 2016 Civic. You guys saw it. Um, very low miles, uh, and it, you know, it has a nice pack. Look at you flexing and shit. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get my ball legs. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean it's a good car guys, so it's kind of, it's worth the money we're putting into it. it isn't some old car, so I mean uh, we'll, we'll, we'll dig into it tomorrow. Alright guys, Yusuf messaged me. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to this. Oh, like, oh 
metal. It's the metal? It's the metal that's already broken off. Oh, okay. Yeah, I What happened? It's just a bracket, right? Yeah. Yep, I saw, I saw it. All right, guys, car is home. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my car out of the garage. Uh, the car, uh, man, we just keep looking at it. We're like thinking, all right, you know, it's life, it's whatever. Um, I'm go ahead and move my car. Um, and the thing is, I okay, the damages are not as bad as I thought. I mean, uh, the damages are not like some crazy stuff that we can't handle. We can handle it here. But my problem is that my cousin was intending on buying this car and literally registering a week later. He bought a car with literally no damage from the pictures. But that's how Copart is. The description was roof and then minor dents and scratches. So that's something you guys need to be watching out for on Copart. It did not say front end, it did not say, it literally had like a, like something in the front, like a bumper of another car or something in the front of the picture. So we didn't even get to really see uh, any front end damage because they didn't even list front end damage so we didn't even think about it. That just comes to show that you shouldn't trust Copart for what they say. Um, make sure you check out the cars yourself because this car, as you guys saw, does have some damage. We're gonna get my car in the garage, we get his car in the garage and we'll start working on it. <laughs> Zip All right. uh, we're gonna find some scissors to cut the zip ties so we can get the keys, jump the car, get the car on the driveway, just wash it off from the outside so we don't piss off the neighbors, and then uh, we'll get it We'll get it up here. Um, let me show you guys real quick how it looks. I don't think you guys probably wanna see a rebuild on this. This is probably something to do off camera, just for me and my cousin, uh, so we can get his car on the road ASAP. But this is gonna be a really fast build because we need to get this on the road ASAP. This car is just filthy, needs, a lot of interior work, but um, yeah, this is his daily from you know for, for next year because we're all gonna be commuting together. He wants a good car. Um, overall, there's no really dens, dents or scratches. This is the only dings. Rest of the car is fine, uh, you know, other than other than the front dings and then right here, where is all the damage? So we'll figure that out once we get it up and wash it. But uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it's pretty good. We just need to get the car jumped. Oh, I forgot you had the intake, Habibi. This baby ain't completely stock. Dude, this engine bay is so empty. Hey, you need a supercharger. Put it on top of there and you're good to go, right? I hope so. <laughs> One day, my guy. Anyways, so now we gotta work with this turbocharged beast. I'm gonna put you guys on a little tripod or something. Dude, you see you, you how cheap that plastic? That almost broke. <laughs> so cheap. Oh my lord. Dude, Hondas. Anyways, what is Earth Team? Yeah, doesn't have that, so. Oh yeah, my bad. You guys have to respect that. Well, we got turbo, so whatever the hell this thing got, I don't think it's as good as. 1.5 uh, turbo setting. Zero well, this ain't the 1.5 Turbo Civic, so. Hey guys, what are these? <laughs> what are those? Oh man. Um, Yusuf? No, the Honda fans are gonna hate you. I don't care, that's disgraceful. You guys know what's more disgraceful? Is the fact that this doesn't have shocks for the hood yet, and this is a 2016. That's pretty sad, I ain't gonna lie. All right guys, Yusuf's gonna be pulling up in any minute now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a new battery in this camera, and hopefully I catch him before he gets here, because uh, this is his first impressions of his new car. Hello, have you the tea? What's the car? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> What's wrong with the car? Um, you'll find out later, have you? Oh my God. It's not that bad. Don't it's not that bad. You, Ibrahim made it a big deal. Of course, Brian, everything makes it a big deal. I know, Allah. <laughs> <laughs> the trim, the trim, the trim is crushed. He says where the car won't stop. The whole car, the whole frame is shifted. Okay. So actually, hold this. Um, yeah, can you put this down real quick? See, that's actually not a big deal at all, isn't it, Yusuf? Not bad at all. So clip it right here. So here's the engine bay, right? Everything looks good. Okay, how do you clip it? The hood latch doesn't work, or? Huh? No, the hood latch works. Look. That's still look down there. Hi, I Mushki, if you go down there. One minute. Oh, shit. <laughs> when he had it on the trailer and shit was dangling. Radio. But I mean, on, yeah, there's no cooling radio either. But radio. that bar is just a bar. It has it screwed on. So it just needs a bar and a radiator, and I think you're fine. 
A new radiator? Yeah, it needs a new radiator. The condenser, uh, I will have to show it to you. We're gonna bring in the garage so you can lay underneath it. But it's not as bad as it really looks at first when we first saw it, we're like, damn. Oh, but dude, look at the front end. You should sell the You can see the, the numbers going through your head. So now I gotta recalculate. No, dude, that's, that's the that, first, that's, first that's value. The second one is anyone who is a smoker. Oh, oh yeah, it's also a little bit of a smoker car. But so anyways, you're gonna I, when you get a detail though, it's not gonna go away for sure. Because it's still a new car. You know, it hasn't been abused for years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the airbag, we're gonna have to cut that out real quick. Is it really dead already? Yep. There's no way, dude. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use the key. Pretty sure it should be a key all up in here. Yep, no. Oh, it's got a backup camera? Okay. This thing keeps dying on us. Oh my lord. Anyways, guys, uh, I know you guys probably don't want to see a lot of episodes on this, because you know it's kind of irrelevant on this channel. But uh, what we're gonna do is probably just do like a part one, which is this video, and then a part two when we kind of finish it up, or like midway, and then a part three, and that's pretty much all that's gonna be to it. It's not really gonna be parts, it's pretty much gonna be like, you know, our progress uh, in between when we're working on other cars. So at least you guys get to see, uh, you know, some content. I mean, why not? I mean, we're, we're gonna pretty much get this Civic from how it is now to on the road for my cousin in the near future because we need this ASAP. But yeah, the battery keeps dying on us. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to jump it back up, get it back into the garage so we can take off the front bumper and uh, figure out the front end situation. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy.